guys this is Mobin we are talking about cardiovascular system this is the first lecture in the cardiovascular system physiology the general principles the topics that we will cover today are going to be pretty simple uh, it is a start of the CVS so the organization of the cardiovascular system the heart has two separate pumps the series and parallel circuits in the CVS the chemical composition or the oxygen and carbon dioxide levels at various parts in the cardiovascular channel, direction of the blood flow in this circuit and, and what do we mean by the systemic tissue and what are the systemic tissues, this is really important, you will use this term throughout your medical career and then various pressures and their definitions. We are not going to treat these things in detail here, there will be separate lectures but just their definition so you can get started and when these terms come up you at least know what that means. So with this let us start with the heart. So the uh, USMLE wants you to know what are the heart's chambers, what are the valves, how does the blood flow in those chambers, so this is that lecture. So let us start from here, the heart here that is drawn and you will see a picture as well, it has four chambers, the four chambers are Number one, if the right heart, right atrium, RA and left atrium, that is one functional, these are two chambers but one functional unit also called the right heart, the right heart. Then of course left atrium and left ventricle, that makes two chambers left atrium and left ventricle but the that also makes the one functional unit that is left heart. So, I will make that here left heart consisting of left atrium and left ventricle. The right atrium has three inputs superior vena cava brings the blood from the head and neck area superior vena cava inferior vena cava IVC brings blood from the from the rest of the body except the heart and the coronary sinus that brings blood back from the heart coronary sinus. Now remember heart receives blood to do two things one is it receives blood to pump it out so that is the pumping function and the second is it receives blood to use it as its own nutrition as well. So when the heart is pumping the blood, the vessels on the right side are superior vena cava, inferior vena cava they are and the coronary sinus, they bring the blood that is pumped out through the pulmonary arteries. So these are, this is pulmonary artery. So here a quick definition of artery, arteries are all the vessels that bring blood out of the heart, that bring blood from the heart outside towards the tissue. So this is the pulmonary artery that would bring the blood out from the right, sorry left right atrium, right ventricle, okay so that is the pulmonary artery that is the right side. The left side has left atrium, left ventricle, the blood comes in through pulmonary veins and the definition of veins is all the blood vessels that bring blood to the heart. So pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood to the heart, these are veins, they, it is not necessary that vein has deoxygenated blood, pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart and so these are oxygenated blood carriers but are veins because they are bringing blood to the heart. Okay, so left atrium and left ventricle, left ventricle in turn pushes the blood or pumps the blood into aorta and then aorta is connected to the systemic tissues. There are six major systemic tissues that you should know about, one of them is cerebrum or the head and neck area coronary tissue that is the heart itself, splanchanic tissue that means GIT that is intestines, liver, um, spleen etc, renal systems or kidneys, skeletal muscles or just the muscles, the skin and that makes the systemic tissues. Alright, so now these are the chambers and the arteries and the veins, 
let's see how this circuit is connected as a two pump system we can see that here and we can see that here so this heart what i've done is i've broken it up i've broken the heart into two separate structures one is the this is the left heart and this is the right heart these are now functional units the working units so let's see the blood flow in this system we'll start from the lungs so here are the lungs oxygenated blood you know that the lungs are connected with the trachea the trachea is bringing the oxygenated blood from the mouth okay so the oxygenated blood comes from the lungs through the pulmonary veins these are the pulmonary veins four pulmonary veins pulmonary veins four in number two from each lung they bring the blood into the left atrium so this is the blood oxygenated that is coming in now what do you think about the chemical composition of this blood or or the gaseous nature of the blood in this so oxygen is really high here why is oxygen high because this is the most oxygenated blood it is just coming from the lungs and the carbon dioxide levels are less so that is the chemical composition so the pulmonary vein and left atrium almost have the same chemical composition more oxygen less carbon dioxide this blood through the mitral valve mitral valve we also call it the same valve is also called bicuspid valve or it is also called the left atrio atrio ventricular ventricular valve same name three names for one valve through this valve the blood flows from the left atrium to the left ventricle again the composition is similar more oxygen and less carbon dioxide from here the oxygenated blood now passes through aortic valve aortic valve aortic valve into the aorta from the aorta the blood will be then supplied to the rest of the body tissue now remember this that only left av valve this valve is bicuspid or has two leaflets all other valves are tricuspid in the heart okay so the but the tricuspid the tricuspid valve traditionally is called this valve the the right av valve is called a tricuspid valve although aortic valve is also tricuspid and pulmonary valve is also tricuspid anyway so the blood comes out into the aorta from here it goes to the systemic tissues so now what are the systemic tissues these tissues i've put them here as well they will be called collectively as the body so the tissues are cerebrum or cerebral system or the brain or the head and neck area then subplanknic tissue that is the git liver spleen etc then is the coronary i missed the coronary here of course heart itself needs nutrition as well so the coronary blood vessels supply the heart so coronary system that would be bringing blood to the heart let's make that here like this and we'll make a coronary vein that is okay so coronary sinus here that is the opening of the coronary veins coronary sinus all right back here so renal system skeletal muscles and the skin so what happens is that the aorta then subdivides into arteries then arteries divide into arterioles they make capillaries inside the the organ or visceras or the tissue skeletal tissues then those capillaries have the venous end that make venules then they make veins and finally the veins would now go back and through either superior vena cava superior vena cava which is bringing blood back from the head and neck area or so we call it superior vena cava or inferior vena cava 